Although every language is mixed to some extent, by virtue of containing loanwords, it is a matter of controversy whether a term mixed language can meaningfully distinguish the contact phenomena of certain languages such as those listed below from the type of contact and borrowing seen in all languages. In other words, a mixed language is a language that belongs to more than one language family and it is unclear whether there are any mixed languages i.e. it is unclear to what extent language mixture can be distinguished from other mechanisms such as code switching, substrata, or lexical borrowing. In 1861, Max Muller denied the possibility of a mixed language. In 1881, William D. Whitney wrote the following, expressing skepticism regarding the chances of a language being proven a mixed language. Such a thing as the adoption on the part of one tongue, by a direct process, of any part or parts of the formal structure of another tongue has, so FAS as is known, not come under the notice of linguistic students during the recorded periods of language history. So far as these are concerned, it appears to be everywhere the case that when the speakers of two languages, A and B, are brought together into one community, there takes place no amalgamation of their speech, into AB, but for a time the two maintain their own several identity, only as modified each by the admission of material from the other in accordance with the ordinary laws of mixture, we may call them A-flat and Ba, and not AB, W, E shall doubtless meet now and then with the claim that such and such a case presents peculiar conditions which separate it from from the general class, and that some remote and difficult problem in language history is to be solved by admitting promiscuous mixture. Any one advancing such a claim, however, does it at his peril, the burden of proof is upon him to show what the peculiar conditions might have been, and how they should have acted to produce the exceptional result, he will be challenged to bring forward some hysoterically authenticated case of analogous results, and his solution, if not rejected altogether, will be looked upon with doubt and misgiving until he shall have complied with these reasonable requirements. Wilhelm Schmidt was an important proponent of the idea of mixed languages in the very late 19th and early 20th century. In the judgment of Thomas Sebiak, Schmidt produced, "...not a scrap of evidence." For his theory, Margaret Schlaup provides a summary of the various objections to Schmidt's theory of spramishing, by prominent linguistics such as Alfredo Trombetti, Antoine Meillet, and A. Kolodovich. Despite the old and broad consensus that rejected the idea of a mixed language. Thomason and Kaufman in 1988 proposed to revive the idea that some languages had shared genealogy. Meekins, who finds Thomason and Kaufman's account credible, suggests that a mixed language results from the fusion of usually two source languages, normally in situations of thorough bilingualism, so that it is not possible to classify the resulting language as belonging to either of the language families that were its sources. Despite these recent efforts to rehabilitate mixed languages as an idea, many linguists remained unconvinced. For example, Van Driem rejects one by one each of Thomason and Kaufman's examples as well as those more recently proposed. Most recently, Versteeg rejects the notion of a mixed language, writing that at no point is it necessary to posit a category of mixed languages. Definitions other terms used in linguistics for the concept of a mixed language include hybrid language, contact language, and fusion language. In older usage, jargon was sometimes used in this sense. In some linguists' usage, creoles and pigeons are types of mixed languages, whereas in others' usage, creoles and pigeons are merely among the kinds of language that might become full fledged mixed languages. Thomason 1995, classifies mixed languages into two categories. Category 1 languages exhibit "...heavy influence from the dominant group's language in all aspects of structure and grammar as well as lexicon." Winford 171. Category 2 languages show a "...categorial specificity of the structural borrowing." Are a uniform borrowing of specific categories. Winford, mixed language and intertwined language are seemingly interchangeable terms for some researchers. Some use the term intertwining instead of mixing because the former implies mixture of two systems which are not necessarily the same order, nor does it suggest replacement of the either the lexicon or of the grammatical system. Unlike relexification, massive grammatical replacement, and re-grammaticalization, 
The grammar of a mixed language typically comes from a language well known to first generation speakers, which Arons claims is the language spoken by the mother. This is because of the close relationship between mother and child and the likelihood that the language is spoken by the community at large. Arons et al. classify an intertwined language as a language that has lexical morphemes from one language and grammatical morphemes from another. This definition does not include machif, which combines French lexical items in specific contexts, but still utilizes Cree lexical and grammatical items. Yaran Matras distinguishes between three types of models for mixed language language maintenance and language shift, unique and predetermined processes, intertwining, and conventionalization of language mixing patterns. The first model involves the use of one language for heavy substitutions of entire grammatical paradigms or morphology of another language. This is because a speech community will not adopt a newer dominant language, and so adapt their language with grammatical material from the dominant language. Bakker argues that mixed languages result from mixed populations. Languages intertwine in that the morphosyntax provided by female native speakers mixes with the lexicon of another language spoken by men, often in a colonialist context. This appears to have been the case with Machif, where European men and Cree, Nakota, and Ojibwe women had offspring who learned a mixture of French and Cree. The third model assumes a gradual loss of the conversational function of language alternation as a means of expressing contrast. In other words, language no longer becomes a means of differentiation between two speech communities as a result of language mixing. Lexical reorientation, according to Matras, is defined as the conscious shifting of the linguistic field that is responsible for encoding meaning or conceptual representations away from the language in which linguistic interaction is normally managed, organized, and processed. Speakers adopt in a sense one linguistic system to express lexical meaning or symbols in the Boolean sense of the term, and another to organize the relations among lexical symbols as well as within sentences, utterances, and interaction. The result is a split, by source language, between lexicon and grammar. Differentiation with other language mixtures A mixed language differs from pidgins, creoles and code switching in very fundamental ways. In most cases, mixed language speakers are fluent, even native, speakers of both languages, however, speakers of Machif ANB mixed language are unique in that many are not fluent in both of the source's languages. Pigeons, on the other hand, develop in a situation, usually in the context of trade, where speakers of two, or more, different languages come into contact and need to find some way to communicate with each other. Creoles develop when a pidgin language becomes a first language for young speakers. While creoles tend to have drastically simplified morphologies, mixed languages often retain the inflectional complexities of one, or both, of parent languages. For instance, Machif retains the complexities of its French nouns and its Cree verbs. It also differs from a language that has undergone heavy borrowing, such as Korean, Japanese, and Vietnamese from Chinese, see Sino Zenic, English from French, or Maltese from Sicilian, Italian. In these cases, despite the heavy borrowing, the grammar and basic words of the borrowing language remain relatively unchanged, with the borrowed words confined mainly to more abstract or foreign concepts. In the case of Maltese, for example, if verbs borrowed from Italian were inflected using Italian inflectional rules rather than Arabic-derived ones, then Maltese would be a candidate for being a mixed language. Finally, a mixed language differs from code switching, such as Spanglish or Portuñol, in that, once it has developed, the fusion of the source languages is fixed in the grammar and vocabulary, and speakers do not need to know the source languages in order to speak it. But, linguists believe that mixed languages evolve from persistent code switching, with younger generations picking up the code switching, but not necessarily the source languages that generated it. Most portmanteau language names, such as franglais and Anglo Romani, are not mixed languages, or even examples of code switching, but registers of a language, here French and English, characterized by large numbers of loanwords from a second language, here English and Romani. Middle English, the immediate forerunner of modern English, developed from such a situation, incorporating many Norman borrowings into Old English, but it is not considered a mixed language. Proposed examples Machif 
Machif derives nouns, numerals, definite, indefinite articles, possessive pronouns, some adverbs and adjectives from French, while it derives demonstratives in animate, question words, verbs in animacy agreement with the subject, object, and some adverbs, verb-like adjectives from Cree. The Cree components of Machif generally remain grammatically intact, while the French lexicon and grammar is restricted to noun phrases where nouns occur with a French possessive element or article, i.e., in definite, masculine, feminine, singular, plural. Further, many speakers of Machif are able to identify the French and Cree components of a given sentence, likely from the phonological and morphological features of words. Although the phonological systems of both French and Cree are generally independent in Machif, there is convergence in one, mid-vowel raising, two, sibilant harmony, three, vowel length, e.g. French vowel pairs, i, p, and a, p, differ in length as in Cree, and four, instances where the three nasal vowels, ash, u, and i, occur in the Cree components, although this last point of convergence may be due to Ojibwe influence. Scholars propose that, in the Métis multilingual community, Machif emerged as a need to symbolize a new social identity. The first unambiguous mention of Machif dates to the 1930s. The Métis of Saint Laurent, a tribe of indigenous people in Canada, were made to feel their language was a sign of inferiority by nuns, priests, and other missionaries who insisted that the Métis switch to standard Canadian French. Because missionaries stigmatized Machif French as an inferior, bastardized, Form of Canadian French, the Métis began to develop a sense of inferiority and shame which they associated with speaking Machif. Although Machif may have arisen as a way for Métis people to identify themselves, it became taboo to speak Machif inter ethnically. In an attempt to make students unlearn Machif French, some nuns used a token system in which each student was given ten tokens each week, and for every use of Machif French, a student would have to surrender a token. Students with the most tokens were rewarded with a prize. Overall, this system did not work. Mednyj Aliut Mednyj Aliut is identified as a mixed language composed of mostly intact systematic components from two typologically and genetically unrelated languages, Aliut and Russian. This mixed language S grammar and lexicon are both largely Aleut in origin, while the finite verb morphology, a whole grammatical subsystem, is primarily of Russian origin. Nonetheless, there are some syntactic patterns with Russian influence and some Aleut features in the finite verb complex such as, 1 a topic number agreement pattern, 2 Aleut pronouns with unaccusatives, 3 the Aleut agglutinative tense plus number plus person, number pattern in one of two alternative past tense forms. Scholars hypothesize that due to the elaborate Russian and Aleut components of Mednyj Aleut, the Aleut – Russian creoles in which the mixed language arose must have been fluent bilinguals of Aleut and Russian and, therefore, not a pidgin language that is, imperfect learning is usually a feature in the emergence of a pidgin. Furthermore, some code switching and deliberate decisions likely served as mechanisms for the development of Mednyj Aleut and it is possible that these were motivated by a need for a language that reflected the community's new group identity. Ma Ma has a Cushitic basic vocabulary and a primarily Bantu grammatical structure. The language also shares some phonological units with languages in the Cushitic phylum, e.g., the voiceless lateral fricative, the voiceless glottal stop, and the voiceless velar fricative that do not occur in Bantu, as well as syntactic structures, derivational processes, and a feature of inflectional morphology. However, few productive non lexical structures in Ma appear derived from Cushitic. Sarah G. Thomason therefore argues for a classification of Ma as a mixed language since it does not have enough Cushitic grammar to be genetically related to the Cushitic language. By contrast, Ma has a productive set of inflectional structures derived from Bantu. Ma also demonstrates phonological structures derived from Bantu. For instance, the prenasalized voiced stops, mb to the power of n d to the power of n g, phonemic tones, the absence of pharyngeal fricatives, labialized dorsal stops, ejective and retroflex stops, and final consonants, as well as noun classification, number category, and verb morphology patterns of Bantu. 
Syntactic and derivational patterns in Ma'a vary between Cushitic and Bantu origins. Some Ma'a constructions used, such as genitive and copula constructions, are both from Cushitic and Bantu. These observations, in view of additional language contact cases like Asia Minor Greek, Anglo-Romani, and Mednyj Aliut, suggest that Ma'a arose as a product of massive interference from a Bantu language via intense cultural pressure on a Cushitic speaking community. Media Lengua Media Lengua, also known as Chaupi Shimi, Chaupi Lengua, Chaupi Quishwa, Kishwanyol, Shapu Shimi or Langa Shimi, roughly translated to half language or in between language, is a mixed language that consists of Spanish vocabulary and Ecuadorian Quishwa grammar, most conspicuously in its morphology. In terms of vocabulary, almost all lexemes 89%, including core vocabulary, are of Spanish origin and appear to conform to Quishwa phonotactics. Media lengua is one of the few widely acknowledged examples of a bilingual mixed language in both the conventional and narrow linguistic sense because of its split between roots and suffixes. Such extreme and systematic borrowing is only rarely attested, and media lengua is not typically described as a variety of either Quishwa or Spanish. Arons et al. list two languages subsumed under the name media lengua, Salcedo media lengua and media lengua of Saragoro. The northern variety of media lengua, found in the province of Imbabura, is commonly referred to as Imbabura media lengua and more specifically, the dialect varieties within the province are known as Pigil media lengua and Anglas media lengua. Scholars indicate that media lengua arose largely via relaxification mechanisms. Peter Meiskin suggests that the social context in which the language emerged as an intralanguage involved a presence of acculturated Indians that neither identified with traditional, rural Quechua nor with urban Spanish cultures. This is an instance of a language developing from a need for "...ethnic self-identification". Light Whirlpuri Light Whirlpuri, seen as a form of Whirlpuri by speakers, derives verbs and verbal morphology largely from Australian Creole, while nouns are largely from Whirlpuri and English and nominal morphology from Whirlpuri. Light Whirlpuri likely developed as an intralanguage via code mixing between Whirlpuri and either Creole or English. This code mixing conventionalized into Light Whirlpuri, which is now learned by Lajamanu children as a first language, along with Whirlpuri, although Light Whirlpuri is often produced first and used in daily interactions with younger speakers and adults within the Lajamanu community. Light Whirlpuri is considered a new language for several reasons. One, Light Whirlpuri speakers use an auxiliary verb system of that older Whirlpuri speakers do not while code mixing. Two, elements are distributed differently in Light Whirlpuri than in code mixing varieties of older Whirlpuri speakers. Three, Light Whirlpuri is a native language, which indicates stability of the language. And four, grammatical structures and lexical items from each source language occur consistently in Light Whirlpuri. Gurinji Creole Gurinji Creole exhibits a structural split between the noun phrase and verb phrase, with Gurinji contributing the noun structure including case marking, and the verb structure including tam, tense aspect mood, auxiliaries coming from Creole. In this respect, Gurinji Creole is classified as a verb noun VN, mixed language. Other examples of VN mixed languages include Machif and Light Whirlpuri. The maintenance of Gurinji within the mixed language can be seen as the perpetuation of Aboriginal identity under massive and continuing cultural incursion. Asia Minor Greek and Cypriot Arabic Both Cappadocian Greek and Cypriot Maronite Arabic are cases of extreme borrowing, the former from Turkish and the latter from Greek. The remaining Greek dialects of Asia Minor display borrowing of vocabulary, function words, derivational morphology, and some borrowed nominal and verbal inflectional morphology from Turkish. Cypriot Arabic largely shows borrowing of vocabulary, and consequently Greek morphosyntax. These cases, including Ma, differ socially from Machif and Mednyj Aliut because they have evolved out of intense language contact, extensive bilingualism, and a strong pressure for speakers to shift to the dominant language. Nonetheless, neither language has an entire grammar and lexicon that is derived from a single historical source and in each case the linguistic group achieves fluent bilingualism. 
The social context in which they arose largely distinguishes them from pidgins and creoles and, for some scholars, identifies them closely with mixed languages. Kakchikal K. Each. Mayan language. The Kakchikal K. Each. Mixed language, also known as the Kake mixed language or Kake Mayan, is spoken in the aldea of Santa Maria Kake, Santiago Sacatepquez, Department of Sacatepquez in Guatemala. A 1998 study by the Summer Institute of Linguistics estimated speaker population at 2000. While the language's grammatical base is from K. Each, its lexicon is supplied by Kakchikal. Other possible mixed languages Para Romani languages such as Aromenzela, which derives most of its lexicon from Calderish Romani but uses Basque grammar and syntax. Bonin English, a mix of Japanese and English Creole. English, since its vocabulary is 26% Germanic roots words, and 58% Latin roots words. Gadol, or Tagdal, a Songhay base with a majority Tuareg vocabulary, sometimes considered a mixed language Lingua Geral Amazonica and Lingua Geral Paulista, important historical languages spoken in colonial Brazil, composed mainly of Amerindian predominantly Tupi lexicon and Portuguese structure. Peta, Danish grammar and semantics with German vocabulary. Missinch, Low Saxon grammar, pronunciation, pragmatics, loanwords and substrate and German vocabulary. Makassar Malay, mixing Malay and Makassarese elements possible mixed languages with a Chinese element Wutunhua, a mix of Chinese and Mongol Dao, Chinese Tibetan E, a mix of one of the Zhuang languages and Pinghua Chinese Lingling and Maojia, Mandarin Miao Tangwang, Mandarin Santa Huashang, Hunanese Miao Huzhou, Uyghur Mandarin Hokagalish, Hokkien Tagalog English see also code switching Creole language Diglossia Interlinguistics Koine language Language contact language transfer Manually coded language the vocabulary of a sign language with the grammar of an oral language, but without an established language community. Metatypy pidgin relaxification translanguaging notes references citations sources Arons, Jacques, Peter Meiskin, and Norval Smith 1994. Pigeons and Creoles, an introduction. John Benjamin's Publishing. p. 46, CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list, Link Bacher, Peter 1997. A language of our own, the genesis of Machif, the mixed Cree French language of the Canadian Metis. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0 19 509712 2. Bacher, P., M. Mose, eds. 1994. Mixed Languages 15 Case Studies in Language Intertwining. Amsterdam, IFOTT. Matras, Yaren, Peter Bacher, eds. 2003. The Mixed Language Debate, Theoretical and Empirical Advances. Berlin, Walter de Gruyter. ISBN 3-11-017776-5. Meekins, Felicity, 2011. Case Marking and Contact, The Development and Function of Case Marking in Gurinji Creole. Amsterdam, John Benjamins Meekins, Felicity, 2013. Mixed Languages. In Bakker, Peter and Yaren Matras eds Contact Languages, A Comprehensive Guide Berlin, Mouton de Gruyter. pp. 159–228. Mose, Martin, 2003. The Making of a Mixed Language, The Case of Ma, Mbugu. Creole Language Library, No. 26. Amsterdam, J. Benjamins Pub. Co. Seba, Mark, 1997. Contact Languages, Pigeons and Creoles. Macmillan. ISBN 0-333-63024-6. O'Shaughnessy, Carmel, 2005. Special Issue, Language Shift, Code Mixing and Variation, Light Whirlpiri, A New Language. Australian Journal of Linguistics, 25.1. Silva Corvalen, Carmen, 1997. Spanish in Four Continents, Studies in Language Contact and Bilingualism. Georgetown University Press. Thomason, Sarah Gray, 1997. Contact Languages, A Wider Perspective, Creole Language Library. John Benjamins Publishing. pp. 303-466. Thomason, Sarah and Terence Kaufman, 1988. Language Contact, Creolization, and Genetic Linguistics. 
University of California Press. ISBN 0 520 07893 4. Velapillai Vivica, 2015. Pigeons, Creoles, and Mixed Languages An Introduction. Chapter 3 Mixed Languages. John Benjamin's Publishing. pp. 69 97.